Let's go. You're in Luke 16 here. We're going we're to actually spend quite a bit of time here. We have a lot of information on hell in this one chapter. Lots of attributes, lots of things that we could learn just about hell that ought to be terrifying when you actually stop and think about it. And this is important for one last reason because as human beings, we have a tendency to just kind of believe that things will just sort of work themselves out. Human beings in general, I mean, this is just really common. You go through some bad times and people just kind of think, well, things will just work themselves out. Why? Because in many cases they do, right? Now, now we know even as believers that the Bible says we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose, right? Great. That's a great promise. So we know that thing, you know, even if you're going through rough times, you could just keep going, keep serving God. It'll all work out in the end. And it's a great mindset to have. But see, for a lost person, especially when it comes to, hey, where am I going to end up when I die? No, it's not just going to work itself out. And that is a thought that we cannot allow people to have or think as much as possible, right? I mean, people are going to believe what they believe, but part of our job when we go out and talk to people and talk to the lost world, make sure they're not just putting things off. Oh, yeah, I'll do, it'll just work itself out. I don't know. I mean, God's a loving God. God's kind of forgiving. God, will, he knows my heart, all this other stuff that people might say and just kind of put it off and they don't want to deal with it and they don't really want to think about it too much. Look, we need to be going out there and explaining, look, hell's a real place. And if you already admit that you're a sinner, where is the, the judgment? Where is the punishment? What is the punishment for your sins? It is in hell. And try to help people stop and think and say, no, look, don't put this off. Think about this. This is important. L literally, there is nothing more important at stake than the very existence of your soul, where it will be for eternity, in perpetuity. We know you're here right now. This is short. You don't have that much time. You need to think about this and don't just say, oh, it'll just work itself out. This needs to be settled. And we need to be reminded of this as well because you may have loved ones. You may have family. You may have friends. Oh, it'll work itself out one day, sometime, another day. Maybe I'll be able to make it work out. Maybe some events will happen and it'll just all work out and I'll be able to give the gospel to my loved one. Look, you can't rely on that and just assume that one day this great, perfect opportunity will just fall in your lap. You can't. You can't wait on that and just assume everything will just be okay. That leads to tragedy. Putting off the opportunity to preach the gospel to people who are lost, you may never have that opportunity again. And what I never want to see happen, especially to those of you and me and my family would be to have to hear about a loved one that died and you know was not saved and you missed your chances to give them the gospel and it's too late and it's over. Because there's a sorrow there that you don't have the comfort. Now, if you were to at least say, hey, I have presented the gospel, you could have the conscience of the Apostle Paul. Well, hey, my hands are clean. You know, I got my, I, I'm free from the blood of all men. I've done my job. I've at least told them. I've at least warned them. I've tried. There is some comfort in that of at least knowing I, I tried. But what you don't want to have happen is go, I didn't try. And I could have told them. And I could have warned them. And now they're there. And there's nothing you can do about it. Don't let that happen to you. Because especially you, we all here, we know this is real. This isn't just uh, some myth. This isn't just some fiction. We know this is real. 
Regardless of what other people believe, we know it's real. We know it's true. We know hell exists and is a place of torture and torment. And of all people, we should not be allowing this to go unsaid. The problem with hell is it's not a comfortable topic to breach because it's not a pleasant place, because it's the worst place in existence. Literally, the worst place in existence. There is nothing worse than hell. Yeah. 